Okay, so now we're going to look at alerting rules. Now, alerting rules are very similar to recording rules in the way we create them. We create a group name and we create a rule with some extra properties. So let's just go back to the server. I'm in my folder where the Prometheus binary is. And I'm going to open up Prometheus rules YML. Okay, and down here, I'm going to create a new rule, a new group called alert rules. Now I'm going to copy from my documentation and I'll just copy this section, copy to clipboard and paste that in there. So alert rules, it's a new set of rules. The rules are alert as the name instance down. That's what we'll see in the user interface expression. That's the equivalent of it being down if up equals false. For one minute, this is optional. The labels, severity, critical. Now we can use anything we like in here. I can say it's major or not a problem or a huge problem, anything I like. I'm just gonna use the word critical because we can use that later. It comes through as a label that we can filter by. And the annotations, the summary in the description will show on the screen in the user interface and we'll also use that later for when we send alerts using email or anything else. And here it says labels.instance. If you remember each, each of the time series will often have a label for instance or a label for job down here. Good. Okay, so let's save that. Control X, yes. And we will check that using the prompt tool as a prompt tool and I'm in my binary folder so prompt tool check rules Prometheus rules YML and it says three rules found it's good okay so now we can restart Prometheus and we'll check its status okay good active let's go into the user interface and refresh alerts and there we go we have one inactive alert instance down that's the first one we created instance down and this is the yml for it okay so let's just see how that looks over here in rules okay so we've got alert rules now as well as custom rules and its state is okay last evaluated two seconds ago so try that again last evaluated 10 seconds ago this is going to just use the default update of 15 seconds Go four seconds ago and we can see that it is super fast to evaluate okay back to alerts now i'm going to trigger this alert i'm going to go onto my server or one of my servers twocoin.org external server I'm, I'm going to shut down the node exporter process okay so i'm on the server sudo service node exporter stop Okay, so back on here, these pages don't update every few seconds, so you'll have to refresh it like this, alerts. Now, since the check is done every 15 seconds, it can take up to 15 seconds before we see it go into a pending state. There we go, it's in pending state now. Instance down, one active. It says it's pending, value equals zero. And these are the labels, alert name, and down here, severity critical. That's this, the label that we've added up here, severity critical. And if I was to show the annotations, it would show here description, twocoin.org 9100 of job, twocoin.org node exporter has been down for more than one minute. Now, since we have this optional for one minute, it will be in the pending state for one minute. So let's check to see how long it's been here now. Still pending. So any moment now, it will go into the firing state. There we go, it's now firing. Instance down, firing, value equals zero. So it's been down, severity critical. Let's look at the annotations. Has been down for more than one minute. And if we look at this uh, status targets here, 
we can see it says down here also error connection refused just a little bit more information for us unhealthy let's go and look at that in the graph here so let's select up see value zero and then there's it's quite obvious in our graph as well now i'm going to just switch it back on sudo service node exporter start and within the next 15 second update that will go back into inactive so let's just refresh this a few times there we go it's back to inactive instance down it's all good okay so now we'll create another alert that uses one of the rules that we created in the previous video so let's go back onto the server and i'm in my bin folder for prometheus let's open up that rules yml and down here we'll add another one just copy it from the documentation okay and paste and this one is alert disk space free 10 percent the expression is node file system 3% is less than or equal to 10. We created that expression just up here. Node file system 3%. That's the expression. If that equals 10 or less, the severity is now warning and the annotations, the description, are, has less than 10% free disk space etc note that i haven't got for one minute this time rather than going from inactive into pending and then into firing i'm just going to go from inactive straight into firing so as soon as that recording rule goes to less than or equal to 10 it'll fire and let us know let's save that x yes check that using prom tool Four rules found, it's all good. Let's restart Prometheus. And check its status. Very good. Let's go back into the UI and refresh alerts. We have another alert here. It's also inactive. Disk space free 10%. Let's look at that in rules. Okay, so we have a new alert rule. Disk space free 10%. It's okay. 